Okay guys, hello, this is Diego from the LS Lab and today I want to give you some basic instructions on how to use uh, Excel for descriptive stati statistics. So basically what we are going to have here, I have this data set here. This is an original data set. Um, it's about this plant here. This is a fern species that we have in different places of the world. And you can see that uh, I have some measurements. So these letters here, they show uh, parts of the leaf that I'm measure measuring. And these measurements are here translated into numbers. Um, I have 18 measurements for three different regions of the globe. So I have 18 measurements for Asia, then for the Neotropics, and then for the Pacific. And uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to calculate some descriptive statistics to basically describe this data set that I have. So the first one that I want to calculate here is the mean value. The mean value in Japanese is Heikin, and uh, it is also called in English average. So the average you are going to calculate in Excel by pressing equal average and then you open parentheses and choose your data set. So the data frame that we are going to use is this one, B2 to B19. I closed in the parentheses and uh, let me just copy this data frame because we are going to use it a lot today. Um, and then when I press enter, there we go. That's the mean value of the measurements I have for LLLW in Asia. Next, I want to calculate the standard deviation. This is uh, Hyojun Hengsa in Japanese. The Hyojun Hengsa standard deviation is calculated by um, equal STDEV. And then again, our data frame, it's the same, B2 to B19. And there we go, that's the value. Following up, standard error. The standard error is calculated by dividing the standard deviation by the square root of the number of samples you have. So it's going to be equal our standard deviation value divided by the square root of, we have 18 samples here. There you go. Once you have this uh, calculated, I can just um, select it and you see there's a square here on the lower right part of the cell. If I put the cursor there, the cursor changes, and then I can just click and draft this to the following cells. So the formula you see here, the formula, the function is kept the same, just the data frame is automatically changed. So like that, I have calculated mean standard deviation and standard error for all Asian uh, measurements that I had. Now to do the same for the other regions, I'm just going to copy and paste and again, the formula is going to be copied and uh, we are going to have automatic calculations of everything. The same for the Pacific region. Nice. With that done, I'm gonna move down here. So now I want to calculate the minimum value, the median, the maximum value, and the two quartiles, the percentiles, the 25th and 75th percent of the distribution of our curve. So for those, the formula, the idea is the same. We are going to go minimum, the formula is equal minimum, open parenthesis and copy our data frame. Again, we are going to use this a lot. So let me copy this down, close the parenthesis. Oops, sorry, there we go. And press enter. The same for the median, median equals median, our data frame, close the parentheses. And same for maximum, our data frame, and close the parentheses. For the quartiles, it's a bit different. So equal quartile, open parentheses, our data frame, and then we have to add, you see that there's a hint here. We have to add a comma and uh, the number of the quartile that we want. So the 25th percent is the first quartile, so we add the number one, close the parentheses, and there you go. For the third quartile, quartile, parentheses, data frame, comma, three. And there you go. 
With that done, we can just, again, copy to the following cells in the three regions as we have done above. Uh, when you copy and paste, please take a look at, the, at your data and see if it's really uh, working as a function. It might be copied in a wrong way, so just keep in mind that, that you have to double check if everything's okay. Okay, with that done, I have uh, numbers calculations for all of these measurements for all of these plants. However, this is a bunch of numbers, so it would be nice if you could translate those into graphs. So what I'm going to do is, I want to com compare the LLLW measurements for Asia, Neotropics, and Pacific plants. So I'm going to use my mean values that I just calculated. So I'm going to uh, select the mean values for the three regions. And I'm going to come here to the Insert tab and choose one graph to use. Today, I'm going to use a bar graph. So when I get the graph, this is the outcome. Looks very nice. However, let's look closer. You see that the graph is uh, not that informative. I don't know what are the axes. I don't know what are these columns. So I need to do some editing here. So first thing, we're going to select the graph. And you see that there's a title here. We don't need this title for now, so I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to come here to the Chart Design tab and go to select data. This is going to show us the series is basically the numbers that we have selected for the graph. You see that they are highlighted here. Uh, then uh, for the horizontal axis, I want to choose some labels. So I'm going to open here and I'm going to choose Asia, New Tropics, and Pacific and press OK. Like that, our graph is going to become like this. Next, I need to add some kind of title to this label here. So I'm going to go to this, uh, again, in the Chart Design tab, Add Chart Element, and then Axis Titles, Vertical Axis. And like that, I'll be able to transform this like that. So Sao, oh, it's in Japanese. Size, still in Japanese. Let's do this again. Size in millimeters. Okay, done. Nice. Now, let's say that I want to add my error uh, my standard error as in the format of error bars. So to do that, we have remember that we have calculated the standard error already. So I just want to add those numbers. We are going to select our graph, go again to chart design, add chart element, and then error bars. And then within this, we're going to choose this option, more error bars options. Like that, a window is going to pop up here. We have several design options here, but what's important for us is the error amount. Now it's a fixed value. We are going to use a custom value, which is basically a value that we have calculated. Uh, within the screen, we just click here and choose the data we want to use. So in our case, it's this, this, and this. And the same for the lower values. So I'm just going to copy and paste the same values. Like that, there we go. You have your error bars over the graph. Now, let's say that you want, this is for the LLLW, right? Let's say that we want to add um, this following one, LLPL here. How to do that? So we are going to click on this chart again go to Chart Design, select the data, and then here we are going to add a new series, series number two. Um, this series, uh, the data is going to be here in the Y value, so we are going to open this and just pick up the mean values now for the second column. 
press enter and there you go um, see that we don't have an error bar so we have to calculate the error bar for this series again so click on the series that you have chosen and the same procedure add chart elements error bars more options um, then error amount custom specified value and then choose the correct values for those so this this and this and the same for the lower whisker and there you go uh, now we uh, we have a blue bar and an orange bar so I need some kind of distinction we did we need a legend for that so you can just select the chart go again to chart design uh, add chart element and then legend you have different formats for the legends. I'm going to choose um, this one. And you see that it shows it series 1 and series 2. So how to correct that? So you can just go to select data. You have the series here. So you select one of the series and you can give, you can either write a name or select it from your table like this. And this. And then you have a graph comparing these two parameters between three different regions and uh, with uh, comparing the averages and uh, the standard error that you got for, for them. Um, so there are different kinds of graphs that you can do. Um, I just want to show one more. Uh, so we can, using this minimum, quartile, median, and uh, maximum values, we can do some box plots. So I'm just going to select the, the whole column for the first parameter. And uh, we are going to go again, insert. And then if you are using a newer version of uh, Excel, it is all automatic. So in a statistical histogram, box and whisker, you have this. These are box plots. Uh, when you open, it's going to be like this. Um, again, it needs some editing. So I'm going to delete the title. The procedure is the same. Delete the title. Oh, no. Actually, we are going to keep it because I'm going to use it LLLW. Um, here, we don't need this down here. What we need is a legend. So I'm going to go to chart design and I'm going to add uh, a legend. This time I'm going to put it down here. And uh, again, the series are wrong. So I need to go to select data and uh, give names to the series. So the first one here was the Asian plants. The second one was the Neotropics. And the third one was the Pacific region. There we go. And uh, also we are going to add uh, a level to the y-axis. Size in millimeters. Okay. And uh, there you go. So you have your box plot for the LLLW parameter for the three regions. So again, there are different kinds of graphs. It's going to really be dependent on the kind of analysis you want to run. So it's uh, really going to be dependent of your own research. But the basics are this. You're going to use functions and you're going to use the insert tab to choose your graphs. And you're, you're going to need to play around and the chart design using select data and add chart elements to do some corrections there. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm going to leave this data set in the, somewhere here down in the, in the description of the video. And that's that. Thank you.